Many of you already know about the loudness race, so I won't uh, spend too much time. I'll just simply say that the, the level of the, the average level of the compact disc went up almost 20 dB in 20 years. That's 20 dB, maybe 30, but that is so much difference that the consumer gets, has been completely, completely uh, screwed up. The peak normalization system gives favor to compressed material and prejudices us against um, more open and dynamic material. Um, and one of the techniques that have been used to uh, increase that as the years, this could almost be 1980 through to about 2000 something, the techniques that are needed as the loudness work kept going on, the next, each, each of these represents a new um, big gun that was invented to give us more loudness and each of the tools became more and more uh, powerful and but notice that we stopped gaining uh, loudness after a time it just comes up only a little bit and a little bit because we've reached the, the limit of, of how far we can go um, and now in order to make a record as loud as I'm about to play it um, they have to clip uh, the digital chain and the analog chain and everything in order to make the record seem loud, but uh, what does it do for us? Now, um, I'm afraid this is going to sound loud. I, if it is really bothersome, just cover yours a little bit. It's only 30 seconds long, okay? This um, first clip, clip is a good term here, because clip is correct. This first clip is uh, one of my favorite performers, uh, you all know him as Jennifer Lopez's husband, uh, Mark Anthony. And uh, uh, this is the actual sound of a compact disc which uh, was produced. <laughs> Can stop it. Oh, good. Okay. Um, that's what Mark Anthony's material sounds like. Now, I'm not pretending that I'm a saint or an angel, but I did master this uh, material in blue on the right, and let's. I did not clip its output. I used a little bit of peak limiting and some compression to keep it somewhat competitive. You tell me how much lower it is in loudness than the Mark Anthony. <laughs> play that backwards, it comes out in Danish. <laughs> but seriously, that is how much more dynamic and pleasurable that is. But loudness-wise, we play the two side by side, and I can't come close. And that is our dilemma. Now let's convert Mark Anthony's recording to a 96 kilobits per second MP3. Estupido, illogical, very much so. So you can't win when you start putting it through filtering and take it to the radio or to satellite. Uh, the satellite radio has something like about 64 kilobits per second. Uh, uh, rate, so uh, it's not unusual to have uh, an MP, to make an MP3 at 96K it is a quite fair example of what might happen when this uh, was converted to uh, play on satellite radio. Now let's take the blue material, which it has not been clipped, and put that into an MP3. <laughs> Now, I'm going to take the 
Mark Anthony material, and I'm going to subtract the source from the MP3 result. Got lots of high frequency noise and distortion. That's mixed in, and so the MP3 exaggerates all the distortion that they used to create the clipped material. Now let's put the blue material into the into the difference engine and subtract. You can still hear the beat. You can still hear the music. If we look at a spectrogram of these two, we can see what happened. Over here on this side, everything right at about 12 kilohertz above that produced tremendous aliasing products in the MP3 and the difference. Whereas this um, very little X things happening, blue is uh, low level and red is high level and green is mid, mid level and um, this is a time based spectrum so this might be 10 seconds worth of material so you, you can't beat the laws of physics if you turn your monitor gain up high enough and set it to the theater standard which is a minus 20 dB FS RMS signal produces 83 dB SPL, then your average level of your music will be at 83. Now that might be very high for people who are mixing for radio, but I'm giving an example. And so I'm not saying that you might not want to use a different standard, but I'm giving this as an example today so that we can see how it works. If I set my monitor gain so that the minus 20 dB FS section of the music comes out to 83 dB, then I have 20 dB headroom and my highest peaks, peak SPL, will be 103 dB. With that setting, I can mix blind without any meters. I can close my eyes and I can do a mix on the SSL without any fear of overload or distortion or signal to noise ratio problems whatsoever. This is a very powerful concept. 